What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 2. Monday Night Football. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you my top DFS picks for this Monday Night Football Showdown between the Cleveland Browns and the Pittsburgh Steelers. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, so we have two games here Monday night, but I'm gonna go over the Cleveland Browns and Pittsburgh Steelers game, the game that's at 8.15 Eastern Standard Time. So let's get into this game here at the quarterback position. I like Deshaun Watson from the Cleveland Browns playing the Pittsburgh Steelers who have the second worst defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing quarterbacks. Now Deshaun Watson scored 21.7 fantasy points in week one and he got five rush attempts in that game. He's gonna be about 63% owned, projected at 17.8 fantasy points here on Monday night but I think he can score 20 plus fantasy points. In his last three games, he has scored nothing less than a 20. So pretty, uh, pretty consistent, good matchup here. And Vegas thinks there's gonna be 38 points scored in this game. They have the Browns favored by two. So I like Deshaun Watson here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, let's take a look at the running back position. So I've got a couple of running backs for you here, a stud pick and then a value play. So the stud pick that I like here is Nick Chubb from the Cleveland Browns playing the Pittsburgh Steelers who have the third worst defense overall. I'm sorry, they have the second worst defense overall, give up the third most fantasy points to opposing running backs. So Nick Chubb scored 19.7 fantasy points in week one. He got 18 rush attempts and four pass targets. So tons of volume. And he's gonna be about 68% owned, projected at 16.5 fantasy points here on Monday night. He's 12,200 DraftKings salary. Now I do think the Cleveland Browns are gonna get it, uh, take the lead in this game. I think the Steelers are gonna be playing from behind. So I do think this is gonna be a running game script for Nick Chubb. So I like Nick Chubb here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, if you're looking to save some salary at the running back position, you could go with Najee Harris, but he's 9,400 DraftKings salary. Now that is, let's see, uh, almost 3,000. It's 2,800 lower than Nick Chubb on DraftKings. So it is a uh, considerable salary savings over Nick Chubb, but I would prefer to play Nick Chubb and then save the salary on a backup running or on the running back two from the Pittsburgh Steelers. Take a look at Jalen Warren from the Pittsburgh Steelers playing the Cleveland Browns. Now the Browns have been good. Uh, they have a good defense and they've been good versus opposing running backs. So Jalen Warren, he scored 6.8 fantasy points in week one. He outscored Najee Harris, who only scored 5.3 fantasy points. And Jalen Warren got uh, three rush attempts, but he got six pass targets. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $25 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won. And we'll send you $25 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. So that's interesting that he got six pass targets. Looks like he is a, uh, a back that's gonna be able to catch the ball out of the backfield. So if he can get a handful of um, pass targets in this game, I think he can hit value here. He's gonna be about 35% owned. Now he was on the field for 40% of the snaps, 
last week, but Najee Harris only on the field for 52% of the snaps. And the salary difference here is just too too much to, you know, to, to roll the dice on Najee Harris. And with Jalen Warren, only 3,000 DraftKings salary, 900 more on FanDuel. So I know there's a lot of risk to this play, especially if he gets game scripted out of this one. But with those pass targets, it's almost like if the Cleveland Browns fall behind, does that mean there'll be more Jalen Warren out there, you know, just catching passes out of the backfield because they need to throw the ball. They can't run it and run the clock out or run the clock down. So it actually might be a good game script. For Jalen Warren, I just think he's way underpriced at 3,000 DraftKings salary. I think you're going to need him in your lineup for these va- uh, for this value play so you can fill the rest of your lineup with quality players. So I like Jalen Warren here versus the Cleveland Browns. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. Okay, so the stud wide receiver for the Cleveland Browns is Amari Cooper. But he's questionable. He was limited in practice, did not play in week one. Um, So uh, did he play in week one, actually? Um, Actually, oh, he did play. Okay, he played 62.2% of the snaps in week one. Um, And it looks like he's limited in practice, so he'll probably, he'll be good to go. Uh, He's going to be good to go here, Amari Cooper. So um, I think think it might be important not to ignore Amari Cooper with that questionable tag like I just did uh, for a minute. So that might throw some people off here. Uh, I got to look at why his ownership isn't coming in either. So I got to take a look at that. But uh, Amari Cooper, if he plays, he's 8,800 DraftKings salary. He's got a fantastic matchup here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, who have the second worst defense overall and give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Now, Amari Cooper... Uh, Only scored 6.7 fantasy points in week one. He got seven pass targets, was on the field for 62% of the snaps. Didn't watch that game, so I don't know if he went out mid-game. Looks like he might have if he's been limited throughout uh, the practice this week. So a little bit of risk there, but if he is good to go, if he is going to play and they say he's going to play a full snap count, I like Amari Cooper. But moving down from Amari Cooper, you want to save some salary here. Take a look at Elijah Moore from the Cleveland Browns playing the Pittsburgh Steelers. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all the tools for NFL. This is a great time to get in and try everything for one month. The tools are all about saving research time. You can see the last three games, the fantasy points per game, the targets they got per game, so you can see how involved they are in the offense, the rushes they got per game. Seeing all this stuff on one screen helps you save time and make better picks. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. So we know they uh, don't have a very good defense, give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Now, Elijah Moore scored 9.2 fantasy points in week one off of seven pass targets, and he even got two rush attempts. So nine touches in week one, was on the field for 69% of the snaps, gonna be about 40% owned. So I like Elijah Moore. Oh, he's 6,600 DraftKings salary, uh, uh, 6,600 DraftKings salary. And um, yeah, I think he's got some opportunity here at a pretty good price point. So I like Elijah Moore, especially if Amari Cooper is out here versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. But now if you're looking for a Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver, I like Allen Robinson playing the Cleveland Browns who have a good defense overall and they've been good versus opposing wide receivers. But Allen Robinson, he scored 11.4 fantasy points in week one off of eight pass targets, was on the field for 89% of the snaps, going to be about 24% owned, projected at 9.2 fantasy points here in week one. He's 6,200 DraftKings salary. So I like Allen Robinson. And he might be one of my favorite wide receivers just because I do think the Steelers are going to be trailing in this game. 
I think it's going to be a passing game script for the Steelers. I think Allen Robinson, he got eight pass targets in week one. Should be able to hit value here at only 6,200 DraftKings salary. So I like Allen Robinson here versus the Cleveland Browns. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. A couple of tight ends on the slate that I like, although it looks like David Njoku might be overpriced here, but you still want to give him a look. So David Njoku from the Cleveland Browns playing the Pittsburgh Steelers, who have a third worst defense overall. They have been pretty good versus opposing tight ends. Now, David Njoku, he only scored 4.4 fantasy points in week one off of three pass targets. Now, he was on the field for 73% of the snaps. Going to be about 30% owned, but he is 7,000 DraftKings salary. Just looks like he's a little bit overpriced. I think I'd prefer one of those wide receivers in the 6, 7K range over David Njoku, but um, he's definitely uh, got probably the most upside by far. Nice tight end position. Actually, the other tight end on the slate, not too bad himself, Pat Furbuth from the Pittsburgh Steelers. He scored 7.3 fantasy points in week one off of four pass targets. Going to be about 35% owned. Projected at 9.4 fantasy points. He's 5,800 DraftKings salary. So I think I would prefer to save the salary with Pat Furmuth. Also, uh, I do think it is going to be a passing game script for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So, some Allen Robinson and Pat Furbooth uh, for your Steelers. Then you got guys like, oh, I'm going to make a lineup at the end of this video. You guys are going to love it. So, let's just get into that right now. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.